What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video we're going to check out an extension for SketchUp that makes creating stairs a lot easier. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So in today's video we're going to check out Instant Stair, an extension from Valley Architects designed to help you quickly create stairs inside of SketchUp. So Instant Stair is a paid extension. Um, it's either a yearly subscription of $17 a year or you can get it as a part of the overall Instant Architecture package which is $118 a year. So that's less than $10 a month for the entire tool set. And so if you were to do the entire thing, um, you would also get access to instant door and window, instant fence and railing, which is actually going to allow you to create railings on your stairs, um, as well as some other extensions as well. So as values go, it's actually a pretty good one, especially for what you're paying per month, um, depending on how you look at it. But either way, this is how you get the extension. And so basically, this is a tool that contains a number of different kinds and styles of stairs that you can create inside of SketchUp and it makes creating them really easy. So um, let's talk a little bit about how it works. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into SketchUp right here. And when you activate Instant Stair, it's gonna look something like this. And so there's a couple different options in here for different ways that you can create stairs. So first off, you can click on the first option to create a standard stair shape. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to click on this little button right here. That's gonna show you all of the different styles of stairs that Instant Stair is going to create. So for example, let's say we wanted to create something fairly simple. So maybe like this stair right here. So what you could do is you could click on it to select the style and then close this window. And then you can click on the options for parameters. What the parameters are gonna do is they're gonna allow you to set the kind of stair that this is going to be. So you can just set like a simple straight stair. You can set a stair that kind of uh, switches back and forth like this. Lots of different options. For this one, we'll just create a simple straight stair. But then it gives you options for things like your overall height, um, the heights of your flights of stairs, as well as the width of your stairs, um, a bunch of other things as well. So you can set number of risers, you can set overall length of stair, and you can set things like different stylistic things, like if it has a stair nosing. Honestly, I don't know what the curtail is. Um, and then the railing lines are great because those allow you to quickly create railings using the instant railing or the instant fence and railing extension. But let's say we just left this as is and clicked on the make stair option right here. What that's gonna do is that's gonna generate our stair. Right, And so I'm not a giant fan of how tall this is. So let's say we wanted to adjust that. All we would have to do is just adjust our parameters. So instead of an overall height of 10 feet, let's say we had an overall height of four feet like this. And then we were to click on make stair again. We'll notice how this time what it did is it came in here and it actually generated the stair to the height of four feet. So we've got our different steps in here. Um, it's really easy to use. And so let's say we were to select one of the other stair styles. So let's go with maybe one of these. Let's go with one of these stairs down here, the triple style stair. So if we click on that, notice how we're gonna be able to do the same thing, right? So we can set like the kind of switchback that's in here. We could adjust that. We could adjust our overall height. So in this case, we're gonna say 12 feet. You can also set the direction that this is going to go, either left to right or right to left. You can set your max riser size, all those different things. We'll go ahead and leave the nosing as is. And we're gonna go ahead and click on make stair. So again, that's gonna generate our stair in here really quickly. And so one thing I do wanna go back to, and I do wanna note, is when you do do this, if you check the option for, um, if you check the option for railing lines like this, so this is gonna place those railing lines in here and then you make the stair. And so notice how this generated these lines in here and they're in groups. And what we can do is we can then use the instant fence extension, um, also from Valley Architects in order to quickly generate rails along these. So let's say I wanted to make a fence right here. I would just select it and notice how it's automatically going to generate um, the fence or in this case, the rail. And what we can do is we could just do that for each one of these really quickly. Now, I wish that there was a way to do all of these at once. I understand the mechanics of why you can't do that, but just be aware that there is another tool contained inside of the Valley Architects tool set that's going to let you do this. All right, so in addition to being able to create those kind of like preset stairs, there's also options in here to create stairs from like lines. So for example, notice how the second option is stair from alignment. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to select an edge and then select the option for stair from alignment like this. And then all it's going to do is it's going to ask you to pick a direction for up. In this case, I'm just going to click on this point right here. One thing you have to do if your line is flat is you need to give it a height. 
So in this case, you would wanna go into your parameters and set it to whatever the height is right here. So I'm gonna set this to have an overall height of six feet. Well then, I'm gonna set my maximum riser to be like six inches right here. And we're going to say no on top landing. And then we're gonna click on make stair. Well, what that does is that comes in here and that generates your stair based on that input. In addition, you can also do the same thing with a sloped line right here. So if we were to take this make alignment, and notice how in this case, we didn't have to tell it what direction is up because it read the slope. But let's say we created another stair style. So maybe something like this one right here. So we're gonna open that up and we're gonna go ahead and in our parameters, notice how we don't have to set a height on this one because it's just gonna use the height of the sloped line in order to figure that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this to make my stair right here. Well, notice how it did that really quickly. We could also set that to have the lines for your railings. So let's say we had the concrete treads, but this time we want to set it to have the railing lines right here. And we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing again. So we're going to click on make stair. Well, now what I could do is I could use instant fence and rail in order to quickly add a railing to this. So let's say for example, that we wanted a wood railing for this one. Well, we could just pick maybe this one right here and then just click on the make fence option and it's gonna generate that railing really quick. In this case, notice how this one was set to slope. So probably would we, or this is set to step. We would probably wanna set this to a different setting. So probably we would want to set that one to slope like this. And then we're gonna click on make fence. So you can see how you can use this in order to quickly generate stairs and railings inside of SketchUp um, without having to do all that extra work of figuring out all the different parts and pieces. And so there's also an option in here to do this based on a floor plan that you draw. So for example, if I was to draw a bunch of risers like this, and then I was to select all of my risers, notice how I'm selecting my riser faces right here. But if I do a shift click, it asks that you select um, the bottom tread edge. So in this case, that's going to be this one right here. Well, then if I was to select stair from plan and let's go ahead and let's pick just a simple stair like this one. But if I was to select that, let's make sure that our height isn't too crazy. So let's say maybe like five feet or something like that. Then we click on make stair. What it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to generate that stair for us like this. And so note that you can also set materials for different parts and pieces of this. So for example, if we wanted to create, let's go with maybe one of these spiral stairs over here. So maybe this one right here. So, or maybe this one, I like this one. So let's say we wanted to generate the spiral stair. Um, in this case, and I'm gonna go ahead and generate railing lines. But what we can do is we can check the box for materials. Well, when you check the box for materials, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you the ability to add any material that's active um, in your in model section. So right now, what we would need to do so that the materials that we want would actually show up in here, we would have to create a couple little swatches real quick. And we would have to add like the wood material that we wanna use. So the wood veneer and let's go with like a metal material. So maybe this aluminum anodized, but <clears throat> Once I add those to my model, what this is going to do is this is going to give me the ability to select those and you usually need to rerun this in order for this to work. But we're going to check this and we could say the treads, for example, are going to be the wood veneer, but the stringers are going to be the metal aluminum. So we could use that in order to set those and then... Um, this ought to be fine. We're going to go ahead and click on the make stair option right here. And when that generates the stair, what it's going to do is it's going to generate it with the materials that we'd selected applied here. So you can use this in order to quickly add materials to your stairs as well. I think that you can use this option right here in order to adjust the materials too. So for example, we could set the treads and risers to be the metal aluminum anodized if we wanted to. We could click on uh, add materials. That's going to adjust the materials based on that new material that we set. So I will link to this extension in the notes below. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below what you think about this extension. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.